low on artifacts from Mars. And according to USA Today, which is a hardcore left-leaning site, the newspaper, uh, we have a bunch of wacko groups that are getting ready to cause trouble on Super Bowl Sunday. I said Super Bowl Sunday in Houston. And, of course, they're claiming they're going to be peaceful. My thinking is they're probably going to be riots, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to go on the limb and say this is the American Sandinistas. That's what it sounds like. The Sandinista communists. They gather at nightfall in an undisclosed location downtown. That should scare you right there. People representing more than half a dozen... Riot groups, it says protests, I'm saying riot groups, that are set to march and rally. Here's Super Bowl weekend met with to coordinate their efforts in a way New England Patriots Bill, Patriots coach Bill Belichick would have appreciated. That is to say, the protesters discussed using encrypted communication that would keep opponents from intercepting their messages. They're up to no good, folks. We're in a communist revolution right now. We have the civil war. We don't have to wait for it. This is civil war. It's just that the right hasn't figured out that these people are at war with us. These are communists. And this is terrorism by definition. I'm going to cut away and then come back to this article. Terrorism, the unlawful use of violence and intimidation, especially against civilians in the pursuit of political aims. That's what we've been seeing. They closed down uh, conservative speakers on campus, and they blacked off Rose reading, leading Trump rallies, all, all, all sorts of things. They burned, uh, they smashed and trashed Berkeley. That's terrorism, folks. That is terrorism. The ones who did it are terrorists. By definition. They know better than the scum, the Islamic scum, that are causing so much trouble across the world. They know better than them. All right. Uh, let's see. Brian Harrison, a local con attorney who has provided support for the protesters, said, Meanwhile, there's a game being played on Sunday. I haven't had any time to pay attention to it. Well, I'm not watching the Super Bowl. It doesn't interest me. Less than a month after the women's marches drew millions of people around the globe and huge airport protests erupted over Trump's immigration ban, politically charged climate has created an unprecedented atmosphere during Super Bowl work. Yeah, weak. We're in the Civil War. It's not in the future, it's now. What? Did some of you expect cannons and uh, muskets? It's not the way this is going to work. Yes, Patriots quarterback Tom Brady and Coach Belichick have been asked about their matchup with the Atlanta Falcons. They've been pressed harder to address their relationship with Trump. Why? That's their business. Other members of the Patriots and Falcons were asked if they would attend the White House if their team wins. The players' answers presumably serving as a referendum on whether they support Trump. Other players were asked for their opinion on Trump's temporary ban on immigrants from seven Muslim-majority countries. The players mostly ducked and dodged, que dodged questions. Good! Local protests, by contrast, are eager to tackle those issues head on and are expected to exhibit notable diversity. Groups and community members involved thus far include members of the following groups. Black Lives Matter, Socialists, Abortionists, a Abolitionists? 
That's not just an abortionist. No, it says abolitionist. What are they abolishing? I'm not getting. That's a term from the 1800s. Abolitionists? They're insane. I'm reading it right here. Communists, Native Americans, Muslims, Jews, Hispanics, LGBT, and local Democratic Party. All the same riffraff. And I call Native Americans riffraff or anything, but, uh, right, or Jews, or Hispanics, but these are riffraff, not for their ethnicity, but for their wackoism. That's why I'm calling them riffraff, just to uh, clarify. Otherwise, somebody would say, eh, artifacts said something racist. No, I didn't. Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo says his department won't be caught flat-footed by the protests. Or should we say riots? I'm sure there will be more, he's told USA Today earlier this week. You always prepare for those th them to happen. Three will start at the City Hall and embark on marches. Two ending near the NFL's temporary headquarters downtown. And one ending at NRG Stadium. Another rally will start at the stadium and is expected to merge with other groups. I might, uh, okay, so I'm going to break this down. This is trouble. I don't know if they intend to get violent or not. We're going to have to wait and see. And what they're doing is they're using the Stuper Bowl in order to get attention from themselves. Because they're raising hell at the Super Bowl and uh, all the news cameras that are going to be around there, they get plenty of attention. These Sandinista communists. It's the same riffraff over and over and over again. Soros, wandering, wandering scum that don't have anything better to do. Same riffraff. Well, we are in a civil war right now. Like I said, it's not going to be uh, muskets and cannonballs. But it is going to be extremely bloody, eventually. Because these people just continue to escalate the situation. That's what they're going to do. It's like I said, the, uh, you communists are grossly outnumbered. And we're getting fed up with this shit. Think about that. Think about all the armed patriots that are sitting there with their trigger figures itching. We're getting fed up with it. If Trump doesn't do something about it, uh, you can figure the rest. I am Artifacts Mars. I approve this message. Thanks for watching.